Hello everyone. Today I'm going to cook vegetable biryani. So in the ingredients, first I have basmati rice, one cup of basmati rice soaked it in water. So we will leave it for 30 minutes. And I've got one onion, one tomato, ginger garlic paste, chopped mint and coriander leaves. And in the vegetables I have potato, beans, green peas and carrot. And in the spices I have one bay leaf, one star anise, few cloves, one cinnamon stick, one cardamom and few sai jeera seeds. Today we are going to cook in a pressure cooker. So I have a pressure cooker, turn on the heat and two spoon of ghee and also two spoon of oil. Once the oil is hot, let's add all the spices one by one. And now let's add ginger garlic, saute for a while and then we can add the onions. And then let's fry the onions until they turn light brown in color. So the onions are fried now. Let's add tomatoes. And let's cook for another 3 to 4 minutes until the tomatoes are cooked. The tomatoes are cooked. Now we can add the vegetables. And then saute it for a couple of minutes. And let's add mint and coriander leaves. And saute it for a minute. And adding one teaspoon of curd. Just mix it well. After a minute, let's add half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder, and little turmeric powder mix them well and let it cook for three to four minutes and now let's add the soaked basmati rice and adding salt now and adding one and a half cup of water So we used one cup of rice, so I'm adding one and a half cup of water and mix well. And finally adding lemon juice, one fourth a teaspoon and let's close it with a lid and uh, we need to cook for two whistles on a medium flame so that's the second whistle we can turn off the heat and let's wait until the pressure gets settled down so let's keep this aside and let's work on seasoning and adding two teaspoon of ghee And I have got few onions cut into thin slices like this. So we are going to fry these onions now. So fry these onions until they turn dark brown in color. So the onions are fried. So now I'm adding one green chili and few cashew nuts. Just saute just for few seconds and we can turn off the heat. So the cashew also started turning brown so we can turn off the heat now the pressure is gone so we can open the lid and let's add the seasoning and mix it well
so carefully from the side we will mix it just making sure not to break the basmati rice and that's it our vegetable biryani is ready and there's our vegetable biryani guys so please give a try and thanks for watching